Hi there, and welcome to this video showing you how to optimize the BMV synchronization parameters. In this video, I will explain how the BMV knows when the battery is fully charged and how you can optimize the related parameters. In most installations, entering the battery capacity is sufficient. The BMV will automatically detect the system voltage and adapt its settings accordingly. But in some installations, for example, with solar chargers or lithium batteries, it is necessary to make some changes. For a reliable readout, the state of charge as displayed by the battery monitor has to be synchronized regularly with the true state of charge of the battery. This is accomplished by fully charging the battery. The BMV will detect this full charge and automatically reset the state of charge to 100%. There are three parameters that define this full charge detection. Setting these parameters too wide causes the BMV to jump to 100% SOC too soon, which causes the BMV to exaggerate the remaining capacity at any given time. Conversely, Setting these parameters too narrow causes the BMV to no longer detect a full charge, which is an even worse situation. Without regular synchronization, therefore, the SOC reading would drift and become unreliable. How does the BMV know when the battery is fully charged? The BMV resets to fully charged when the voltage reading exceeds the charge voltage parameter and, simultaneously, the charge current is below the tail current parameter for a particular amount of time. This time is called the charged detection time. We will use the Bluetooth dongle to configure the BMV. Insert the dongle into the BMV. Switch on Bluetooth on your phone. Open Victron Connect and select the BMV. On your smartphone, go to Settings by clicking the gear wheel at the right top of the screen. We've already configured the battery capacity. Now let's walk through the sync settings. We recommend to set the charged voltage 0.3 volt below the end of charge voltage of the charger. Typically the float voltage. The battery used in this example requires a float voltage of 13.8 volt. Therefore, we set the charge voltage to 13.5 volt. Installing a solar system. In solar systems or other applications with fluctuating charge currents, the charged voltage should be set only slightly below the absorption charge voltage. For example, 14.1 volt in case of 14.4 volt absorption voltage. This will prevent the BMV from switching prematurely to 100% state of charge. The tail current is expressed as a percentage of the battery capacity. When the charge current has dropped below this setting, the battery is considered as fully charged. The default setting is 4%, which is fine for most systems, including ours. The charge detection time is the time during which the previous two parameters must be met in order to consider the battery as fully charged. The default setting is three minutes, which is also fine for most systems. We recommend to keep this value at 1.25 for lead acid batteries and set it to 1.05 for lithium ion batteries. A value of one disables the Pukert compensation. Make sure your battery is fully charged at least twice a month, which ensures the BMV can synchronize and show the correct state of charge. Thank you for watching this video.